Salutations, friends! Tis I, your friendly uh, overseer, St. Uther, once more. Here, joined by my good friends, Ambrosia Hartnett and The Warsman. How are you both doing on this fine Saturday, or Friday? I was about to say Saturday. What the hell? I thought it was a date. <laughs> How are we losing on this fine Friday evening? Felt like I what? pulled something at work. Okay. <laughs> You're functioning and you pulled something. Hmm. So, basically, we're just pulling through. Woo. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, um... So, yeah, we're gonna get straight back into things. Um... Yeah, I had a, I had a spark of inspiration recently again, because, uh... The trailer for the Fallout TV series that comes out next month, and about, well, actually in about a month or so, uh, dropped yesterday, and... Mm. Okay! Looks really interesting. The thing I love most about it, I'm just going on some light tangent here for a second, it's, it is Fallout related, is um, it drops on Amazon Prime on the 11th of April, which if I remember correctly is a Thursday. Yeah, because the actual, yeah, Friday is, yeah, so it's a Thursday. It drops on the 11th of April, and the thing that got me most excited for this whole thing is the fact that it says all episodes available on April 11th. So that means we are going to binge the crap out of it <laughs> in one shot in fact i am i am declaring this right now that 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 friday evening friday april 12th we are not going to broadcast because i'm going to be binging the crap out of it as soon as i get home from work i'm gonna fire it up and start binging it maybe have a watch party or something too so that one's gonna be awesome. Mm. Anyways, ah. stretching like a cat. Ow. <laughs> Raven the cat. Wait a minute. It's two animals in one. You are a sphinx. Yes, yes, I am. And Raven's your spirit animal, apparently. <laughs> Not the bird, but the, the character. Anyways. Uh, all right. Um, it has been a while. So last time we played, last time we were together, um, I believe your character, your group managed to finish off most of the ghoulies that were roaming about, and um, your your team kind of limped its way back to the uh, almost limped its way back to the main office uh, after encountering a couple more ghouls. Like, oh god, these things are everywhere. It's like, yeah, they're still kind of lurking about. You flushed out most of them and you guys aren't brave enough to go flush out the rest i mean there is a handful left but they're like no nope, no nope, we're, we're too beat up we don't want to get you know dead apparently it's like yeah that's fine you guys aren't anywhere near dead I mean, bob is all kinds of effed up but then again he got effed up by the synths and everything and that big ass battle from was it a session or two ago yeah i think it was about two sessions ago roughly Regardless, you guys have managed to limp your way back to the main offices to meet up with whatever Minutemen had uh, come back. And actually, I think you did find the last Minutemen that was uh, out there. Hang on, let me double confirm that one, because again, um, my notes aren't that great. I kind of played this one by year, too. So Yeah, you did. You guys found the last Minutemen. So all of them have been accounted for. All right, my friends, you are free to take a, take it over and tell me what you guys are going to be doing now since you're getting back to the main office. What are your plans? Honestly, I would say sleep in order to rest mm -hmm. and heal, I hope. Pray that the uh, pray that the ghoulies don't follow us. <laughs> yeah, because we're pretty much just running on fumes and need patch jobs. Doc, you're okay. I mean, uh, Jeff is all right. Bob is needs repairs. In fact, that's why you guys are on your way back. You guys were on your way back to the garage to go repair the guys because he doesn't have any. There's no spare parts, at least nearby. You guys don't have the actual kits or anything, but everything you need is inside the garage with all the car bits and stuff that they have. So um, that's where you guys were on your way. At least last time, if I remember correctly. And the only person who's really like, oh god, is kneecaps, because he's still I think you're still carrying a lot of rads right now, my dude. In fact, uh what is it? Hang on. I know. Yeah, you're at you're at radiation level eight at the moment. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're 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 practically glowing. 
should probably make that a thing. If you get so many rads, you start to glow. <laughs> I could totally do that. So actually. I'm walking around with a nightlight that likes hitting things with a bat? Yes. <laughs> is there any is there any way for us to get rid of those rads right now, or maybe we'll get lucky and holy find I, some? I was about to say, dude. Yeah, I was about to say, dude. You're about to start glowing green. And you don't even have a ring. Hardy hard. <laughs> uh, I don't recall if sleeping will sleep if you can sleep off your rads. Uh, I sincerely doubt it. I don't. Well, actually, maybe. Huh. Let me look at my charts here real fast. I should have done that beforehand, but Let's see here. Sleep. Okay, let's see here. What does it say about sleeping? Oh, here we go. Let's see here. Rats. Oh, here we go. Recovering from rads. Because radiation damage reduces maximum health points, it doesn't heal in the same way as most damage does. Okay, yeah, no. Radiation damage will only go away by removing by removing it with chems, such as rad away or other consumables that reduce it. So you need to get your hands on something that's going to de-glow you. So yeah, rest will not have any effect on it. So basically, the only thing rest is going to do for you right now is basically um, uh, it's going to prevent you from getting more fatigue. Well, actually, that's something I should have been uh, adding, but yeah. Basically, the way I'm going to be working with our fatigue levels and food and hunkers is uh, the longer you guys go without doing that and more activities you engage in, the, the higher it's going to get. So uh, essentially, by you guys finishing this long drawn out combat you guys have basically gained one one level of fatigue and hunger and you know thirst because yeah you guys have worked yourselves hard actually so you guys should take a, a breather unless you want to keep pushing yourself that's totally your your game but that's neither here nor there at least before you guys start traveling the world again because now we got random encounters somewhat working uh, I just need to again flush out the system a bit more. So tonight we'll probably we'll probably start encountering our first random encounters tonight. Who knows? Maybe you guys will get a wild wasteland uh, encounter. It really depends. It but yeah, as it stands, we're headed back over to the office right now to rearm, resupply, and get some shut eye for the most part. All right. As it goes. Uh... Not yet, you black cloaked asshole. I'm not ready to go yet. <laughs> uh, wait, did you load up the map for the uh, for the office yet or no? Well, no, the office is up here, dude. It's all still on we this map. We just don't oh, see anything because we're outside of the doorway. That's true. It's all still on this map. But yeah, the office is there. All right. Yeah. Come on, you mooks. Let's go get some rest. And... Kneecaps will just drag his feet along. <laughs> Axel and Grease would just com uh, Axel will just comment that, uh, like I say, yes, you are looking quite ragged, uh, ragged actually. Uh, a good bit of shut eye should do you. Uh, a good round of shut eye should do you some good. 
I mean, it will, but it won't help with this stupid chem crap either. Ugh. Yes, I, according to the old, uh, old, uh, what's the word? Hang on. Uh, according to the old Geiger counter, you are emitting a, quite a few ticks more than you normally should. I suggest you look around and see if you can find any chem, any Gradaway, or anything else. You, if I'm not mistaken, didn't you lot come with a, a herd of Brahmin? Their milk is actually quite useful for reducing that, if I'm not mistaken. They should be somewhere right outside, I want to say. I hope they didn't get spooked because of all the gunfire. Uh, most Brahmin that are trained for carrying uh, supplies are quite well adapted to the harsh conditions of the wasteland, so... Gunfire out in the middle of nowhere is usually not uh, any kind of startle. Unless it's directed at them, I mean. Very well. I believe your Brahmin are quite well trained. If not, they're probably still tied down. Alright, Doc, would you mind going outside to take a look? I'm gonna try and get some grub going on. Uh, Axel, Grease. Bob, would you mind if I look around the office to see if I can find any Rataway or something like that? Oh, my. Well, by all means, I mean, maybe you can barter with uh, some of the Minutemen, too. Those chaps are probably very grateful for your assistance, too. They might be willing to share anything they have, or at least sell it, at the very least. I'll ask. And that should be our plan. Uh, do you have require anything else from us? If not, we're probably going to go back to the garage and start, you know, repairing our battered uh, chassis. You lot go get yourselves fixed up. We need to get some rest, food, and shut eye. Very well, then, my old friends. Until then, and uh, come see us again in the morning when you are fully rested and ready to head out again. We are still work. We got some more work to do, but with your assistance, we might be able to work something out. Till then. Good night. <laughs> that was almost well timed, there, my dear. Uh, anyways, but yes. Until then, we will see you in the morning. So the three of them will just hover off and go back to their garage. To the garage. <laughs> yes. Didn't say it proper. Mm. Hey, thanks, sir. <laughs> eh? What's going on? No, somebody put, said something in chat. I'm like, oh, thank you, my good sir. All right, and with that, I'm headed inside. Ambrosia, would you mind yeah, uh, know, trying to see where the Brahmin ran off to? They're still out front where they were. At least I know I can do that now. Okay, so that's a that's a neat thing. Funnily enough, I don't see them on the map. Oh. Well, they're over. They're outside. That's why. I actually I'm gonna move them again. Aha. There we go. Yeah, you guys still haven't come up with names for those two yet. At least last time I think. <laughs> last time I checked. But yeah. Um. So if you guys are going to do a rest right now, then we can go to uh, the camp setup and uh, perform actions. Preferably so. All right. So because you guys have more have pretty much secured this area and, you know, um, the Minutemen have been, you know, you've helped them out. They are more than grateful for your assistance and, um, you know, they're willing to trade any supplies they may have. So, uh, both of you guys have three actions, like normal, I believe, because you guys have the same levels in, what you call it, um, let me see here, what are your character sheets, Oop. I believe you have the same, uh, survival levels, right, yeah, you both have, you have three, and I believe you have three as well, yes, both of you have three survival, so you both can do three actions in the camp. Be it trading, be it tinkering, repairing, you know, um, healing. Yeah. All right, all right. So, yeah. Are the Minutemen in the office, too, or no? Yes, there's a couple of them. The, the ones that you uh, sent back, they're still here. All right, I'm going to go speak with them. All right. So that'll be your first, act that'll be your first uh, camp action. Gentlemen. I can use 
use my other cable now too. Oh, you're back. Uh, everything is everything all right? Things get way too heated over there. A couple more ghoulies are still lurking around, and as you can tell, they messed us up real good. Now, honest question. We all happen to have some rat away. Because as you can plainly tell, you hit the lights, I'll be going brighter than a Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, doesn't seem that good. All right. Uh, let's see. Man, I don't, how do I change my upgrades? I actually have not used this thing yet. I've only tested this thing a few times. I haven't actually used it quite yet. Let's see, let's put their wealth. Okay. We'll do uh, that. And they are traveling. Okay. So. You are in luck, actually. Between the two of them, they do have a few things. Let me go ahead and show you what they got. Ah, okay. That's what it is. So... All right, so chem-wise, they have four stim packs, one diluted rat away, two units of uh, diluted rat X, and some cat eye. All right, uh, let me see what I got on me, because I'm willing to trade those uh, those rats over here real quick. And they have 51 caps uh, on them right now. Now, because you helped them out, too, actually, I think you're on real good terms with them right now. Let me, let me double check my other sheet. Uh, where is the damn thing? Actually, that's a spreadsheet that I have on the side. It's not an actual Google sheet. Oh, yes. So, yeah, you are in real good standing with the uh, Miniman right now, so they'll give you a discount. Let's see here. Yeah, so that rat away is... It's not a whole lot, a whole lot, big discount, but yeah, they'll sell it to you for 45 caps. You know, unless you're going to try and haggle. Would you gentlemen be willing to trade? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we don't have much, but whatever supplies we do have, we are willing to share. Or at least... All right, I have an idea. A stupid one, but an idea nonetheless. Go ahead. I have yet to touch the rad shine Lurch gave to me during the very beginning of the campaign. Okay. I'm willing to, uh, what's it called? What's the check? Barter. I'm willing to do a barter charisma check to try and sell them the rad shine in trade for the rat away. Um. Okay, yeah, you can do a barter check. Um. Let me see here.
All right, so they got... Wow, jeez, I got two successes on that. Um, what do you got, then? Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, so, well, yeah, because the way it works is... Um, bartering if you bar if you succeed a barter check then you, you, they reduce the price if you don't nothing happens if you have complications it goes up now because you couldn't you know out out you know talk it up they're not going to give you more or less but you can still trade because bartering just works in like okay this is worth this much but of course it's gonna be a little less because you know they can't give you what it's worth what it's worth all right so you just end up trading the standard amount of alcohol for right away more or less all right, so I'm willing to offer them, let's see here, both bottles of Radshine. Good sure, how much? They're worth 50 a pop. All right, hang on. Uh, yeah, I think I should actually... Let me look this up real fast. While you're deciding. Let's see here. Sorry, he tried to haggle, so that didn't work, but let's see here. Oh, okay. So yeah. So when you're when you're trying when you're selling something to somebody else, it's worth a lot less. It's worth a quarter of what its value is. You know, some people want to sell it for more. You know, if you succeeded your barter check, you would have gotten more. But that's just where it stands. So let me crunch the numbers here. So your rad shine is worth what? Uh, 50? So 0.25. So each rad shine is worth like 12, tw uh, about 13. So we're 13 caps a pop. So a good barter skill is going to become important. This is why looting and scavenging is also come, going to come important down the road. Okay, so 13 caps, that's 26. Yeah, so you're going to sell both to them? Yep. Okay. Let me reduce that. And uh, what's it called? Uh, so that will be... 20. Also the, uh, the stim pack as well. Gives you 54 caps in total right now. Although, hmm, hang on. Uh, right, hang on, let me double check that. So that's 15 actually, so 30 on top of 50. Uh, crap. You should have twenty. Actually, yeah, you should have fifty-eight caps instead because I did say you do get you do get a discount and you get a slightly better selling rate on goods because they're in good standing. So, I'll give you a little bit more. And uh, I know I'm, and I know I'm probably never going to use this. I'm also willing to sell them the shish kebab. Really? Okay. And you're gonna get rid of the flaming sword. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Shish kebab, which is 200 caps, and so that's 60 caps to you then. Plus your 58 caps, so you're at 118 then. Okay, you're selling the shish kebab. All right. Then I will pull that out of your inventory altogether, then just delete it outright. <laughs> uh, come on, delete. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, there we go. So your shish kebab is now gone. Okay. So you sold your shish kebab and you sold two rad shrines. I mean, I, I leave the entry there because I'm probably you're, you might pick up more or get more since you got rid of your shish kebab. I'm like, all right, I'll just get that rid of that. All right. Is there anything else you want to unload? 
Oh crap, that's right. Hang on. Not at the moment. I just forgot. Hang on. Um, shit. Uh, they don't have that many caps to give you. But hang on. Uh, how many caps do they have? Oh, they had fifty-one. Damn it! I keep forgetting. Not everybody has infinite caps. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. So, so those are the, those are the three things you want to unload: the shrad shines and the um, the shish kebab, right? Yep. So that was what three hundred caps worth of uh, stuff. Yeah, because each rag shine's worth fifty plus two hundred, so that's three hundred times point thirty. So that's ninety caps of what basically is what you were getting. And then you were buying um, you were buying the one thing of uh, rat away, right? Yeah. Okay, and that was worth four. That was forty five. So. So it's 45 caps to you. So, okay, they'll have caps left over. So let me met that down. Put my counting skills to good use. <laughs> Let's see. So you originally had, how many caps was that? That was, you were at 28. So 28 plus 45. So I have 73 caps now. 73. And I will give you the diluted. You now have one more diluted right away. Make sure that shish kebab's gone. Nope, it's not. Let me get rid of it from your attack list. All right, so that shish kebab's gone now. You could have been like you could have been like Rubute Gilliman with a flaming sword. <laughs> But you chose not to. No, no beat. It's alright. Chances are we'll come across another one. Yeah, maybe. Alright. So, was there anything else you were interested in? Or was just that it? Did you want to try and look at... Do you want to look at any of the food or anything else? They might actually, they don't have any food supplies right now. Their food supplies are empty, oddly enough. No, just the right away. I'm probably going to use the minute I buy it. <laughs> You don't want to be a glowing nightstick. Exactly right. All right so no, just... I would like to have my HP back. Thank you. So you're done with the shopping for now? <laughs> yes. All right. Let me see here. Huh. Okay. All right, so that was your one action. You got two more actions you want to do. Uh, what other options do I have? Well, anything else you might want to do in camp? Do you want to cook or rest or you know heal yourself? <laughs> I am going. See, I am going to use the uh, right away I got from them. Okay. Drink some pure water and um. Well, we're, uh, actually, hang on. Eating, drinking—that's the uh, that's the the last. Th that's the automatic thing because that's yeah. Yeah, cause no, sleep, for that. Uh, yeah, because actually, sorry, I keep forgetting. Sleeping and eating, well, sleep, eating, drinking. That's that's the the standard. Mm. That's the given because yeah, you guys can do that anyways at the end of the night. Can't really think of anything else outside of milking the pack Brahmin, but that's about it. Yep. All right, what did you? Where's that? Uh, I'm on dock. Derp. I'm like, wait, I'm on the wrong character sheet. Rip. All right, let's see here. Where is your diluted right away? Let's see, you back down to zero. You're out of those. And it heals for what, two? Shit. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Right away, diluted. Heals two radiation damage. Use right away. Can be used in multiple ways. Can be applied using a cake can. Why does it say four, but it says two? I think regular right away is four, and let me double check. Where's my master sheet? Uh, where's my master sheet of Kenji? Right away, right away, right away, right away. Where was the right away? There it is. Yeah, okay, it is two. So, right away, we'll heal you for two raid rads. So, let's reduce your radiation from eight to six. Okay. 
So using the chem is one more action. So you got one more thing you want to do. Scavenge around, look around. Um, I think I, um, no, I don't think I'm going to scavenge for the, because I wouldn't want to piss off our robot friends. Ambrosia, what did you want to do with Doc? For Camp Night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actions are always like, you know, cooking things, uh, milking your Brahmin, you know, gathering up the fertilizer, etc. Because, yeah, remember, their Brahmin milk is actually useful for getting rid of rads, too. Well, and I shall try that. Okay. I will try my hand at a farm barrel. Yay! If I remember correctly, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, science. Hmm. Hang on. Ah, there it is. Yeah, it's going to be milking the brown. There we go. Pack Brahmin. Milking! Uh, the Brahmin can also be milked once a day, requiring an agility plus survival test with a difficulty of one. Success means the Brahmin produces one Brahmin milk plus one extra for each AP spent, maximum of five. So you get to do, you get to do one test per day per Brahmin. Uh, All right. For, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Just uno. Okay, you got a success, so you get one unit of milk from the first Brahmin. Now, if you spend more AP, you get more milk. Hmm. I don't know if I want to end up risking that. Sorry, I'd, say go for it because, I'd say go for it because I can easily get it all back by beating people over with uh, with my club. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, uh, the, it, it'll determine uh, the, your, hang on, ah, gather my thoughts before I speak. My brain's kind of trying to cram all the words out at once. So, <laughs> yes, yes, dear. Anyways, so yeah, you get two rolls basic and, and, you know, every time you buy more, you get more mel milk. But yeah, the first AP is one more, the first extra die is one, then two, then three. Okay, so I'll go so with. It, yeah, if you want to buy four dice, that's, that's, uh. Uh, three AP. If you want to buy all five, then, yeah, it'll be yeah. So you're gonna spend one die, one extra AP for one other die. All right. Yep. Go for it. Add one more die to your roll. Oh, um, when it tells you, yeah, it should ask, give you the prompt to actually add more dice. Hang on, that doesn't. Again, I won't count that. Survival agility. Yeah, when it, when he brings up input value, it says additional dice zero one two three. You wanted to go to one. Mm. Okay. Oh, no, mas. This one will count for reals as long as it's uh, the correct. You said you're gonna buy an extra die. There we go. So that's the correct one, and you got one success. So you still net one milk. So. You've netted two milks. <laughs> hey, it's better than zero. Two. It's determined. It's like, I don't care how many dice you throw at this. You will only have one. <laughs> I guess the only animal that you're really good with is uh, the dog. So give me a canine and I'm good. Give me any other animal. We're having issues. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let's see here. Wow, you have a lot of food on you. <laughs> you're carrying a lot of stuff. Actually, somewhat. Let me organize things a bit more. Uh, oh, you do have ramen mug. And you actually have some on you, I think. Yeah, you have. Wow, you have. Okay. <laughs> With that milking, you are currently sitting on five units of milk. <laughs> Pretty soon, you're going to have to be wearing a maid outfit. 
You can read a milkmaid. Oh dear. All right, so you milked two Brahmin. That's your two actions. You got one more action to do. Do you want to cook anything, or do you want to administer mm -hmm. <laughs> your skills to your, you know, skills to somebody? Is there anybody seriously hurt? Well, I mean, Doc. I mean, uh, Kneecap is hurt, but he's radiate. He's irradiated, so healing him won't do a whole lot. It'll only give him two more HP. And your dog's the same way. He's he's at his max health temporarily. Okay, then I will try to do some cooking. All right, what are you gonna try and cook up? I'm gonna try to roast up some rat scorpion meat. Okay. Let's see here. What's rat scorpion? Let's see here. Rat scorpion meat. That's just a Okay, you're gonna make a rad scorpion steak, huh? Okay, that's a complex ones. Uh, that's a complexity of one, so you need to. Yeah, we'll say there's, you know, the, the camp campfires close by. They got some cooking facilities. Uh, yeah, survival intelligence. Difficulty one. Okay. Um, Success! You managed to convert one rad scorpion meat into a rad scorpion steak. Let me see here. Oh, gotta look at that. Okay, one more. Go back on that. Where are you? Uh, do, 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 do. Scorpion meat. We'll reduce that by one. And now you're gonna have rad scorpion steak. Actually, you already have. Well, you have the entry. Now you have one. There we go. This is why. And this is why I keep the entries, even though they're gone. That way, you get more. All right. And with that, you guys are pretty much done. It's time to munch down and drink up and get ready for beds. So, what did you guys want to eat slash drink before you sleep? Unless you want to go to unless you want to go to bed hungry or thirsty. Oh, uh, what's it called? I'm going to. No, you first, then, Persia. Sorry. Nope. Given that I've cooked up the steak, I shall have some milk and steak. Steak and milk, milk and steak. All right. So let's see. You'll take one of your Brahmin milks out of your inventory. That's down to four, and you're gonna eat your steak, huh? Zero. You'll be healed and oh yeah, okay. You're gonna have two energy damage resistance again for until the end of the next fight. I think you still have that buff actually, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you ate last time was the rat scorpion steak. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you don't have any rads on you. Nope, you don't. You're good, so you're good. Uh, do you want to give your doggo some some milk so he heals up some of his rads? Yep. I will pull out my little ducky bowl, pour some milk in there, and say, Here you are, Jeff. <laughs> Alright, so you're down to three ramen milks right now. And that'll heal two of his rads. He's down to one. Alright, kneecaps, what did you want to eat slash drink? I'm going to have me some purified water. Okay. I'm going to reduce that to a quantity of... Ah, not 32. <laughs> quantity of 2. Alright. And that'll heal you by a little bit more. So you'll be back to... 9 health. Which is your current max. 9 health. There we go. And my last can of pork and beans. Mmm, pork and beans, huh? Your pork and beans. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll a single. Roll a single. Uh, uh, die. The um at the top of your character screen, you know, where right there above where it says special. There's the the two icons, the D twenty and the face. Click on the face. Roll one die for me. Cause I don't know. We don't know if your pork and beans is irradiated or not. No. Oh damn it! It totally was. You just gained another rad. <laughs> you healed two reds and you gained one back just by eating food. Like that's it. Hand me one of the freaking ramen milk. Got creatures in her bag. Takes like glowing. Passes over the bottle. <laughs> that's why I'm surprised you drank water first. I mean, that was your thing. Okay, well, you've got to. Well, you've eaten your food for the night and drank your your stuff for the night, so you've got one ramen milk in your inventory now because you traded. And she's just kind of giving. Well, she holds the bottle to him, just gives him the look like, really? You're old enough to know better. Boil the water. <laughs> well, no, the water was the problem. It wasn't the problem. It was the pork and beans. You know, and old world food doesn't. You know. It's usually irradiated. At least 90% of the time. Actually, wait a minute. Time out a minute. You might not get radiated. Hang on. Oh, right. You have the lead belly perk. So you get to re-roll the die to determine if you're irradiated or not. Roll it again. You're fine. Because the radiation only happens on, on, on a... Um, I'm like, yeah, because once, once Ambrosia said cook the water, I'm like, yeah, you know, you know, a lot of the old stuff is radiated, and, you know, in the only way you really ignore it is if you have the lead belly perk, which he does. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for giving me that insight there, my dear. You reminded me that he has a perk that, ignore, that allows him to help ignore the radiation of uh, eating and drinking. Yeah, so your 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 lead lined stomach actually came in handy here, my dude. Wow, I would have expected a lead lined stomach to be Michael's trait. <laughs> Humorless racial joke. Yes, yes, dear. Ah, oh, yes, your friend Michael. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all right. Um. With that, I will say you guys have closed up for the night and will rest for... Well, how long are you guys going to plan to rest? Short, long, or full? Well, did you want to take a quick break, uh, a short rest, or a you know full rest? Mm. I need to break that up. I'm leaning toward full... Yeah, I'm thinking, given how badly we got our bums handed to us, I think full rest is probably smart. Alright, full rest it is, so you guys will gain temporary HP. Oh, excuse me. Let me see here. Where is that? I need to, actually, I need to start taking these notes down in my main uh, notes tab. Okay, that's the one. need to make that a rule. Now, I'm, and I'm going to yeah, dictate the, the levels of rest. Oh, that's right, yeah, because you guys have... You guys make the criteria, that's right, because the criteria is to eat, drink, and sleep at least on something that's not the bare ground. That's how you get a full rest. Um, and, well, plus the time. So yeah, you can do qual make the qualifications for a full rest, which means you get bonus HP based on how much is it again? I want this the amount of bonus HP you get. I think it's like two or four, depending on how much you sleep. <laughs> Okay, you're arrested. 
Oh, okay, yeah, it's just 2 XP, or HP. So you guys are now have an additional 2 HP for the time being. So 17 on you. And, I mean, you're irradiated, but still, you get the extra bonus, so you'll be at 11. And it's the same with, well, yeah, your dog goes the same way, too, so. Hmm. All right, after eight more hours. Actually, what time was it when we guys left? Let me see here. That tells me what time it is. It was 9 a.m. when you guys started. <laughs> uh, let's say how long you guys have been fighting and scavenging and moving around. Probably a good three hours or so. Probably spent a good three hours roaming about that junkyard and stuff. So it was about noon time when you guys decided, okay, we're going to take a nap we're gonna take a rest here so it was noon when you guys went to sleep so you guys are probably waking up around uh let's see what another eight hours from now that would be uh yeah you guys are waking up like at 9 a.m 9 p.m now <laughs> it is nighttime when you guys wake up So with that in mind, where did this go? There we go. That should. That's uh, yeah. That's I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Yep. That that totally, <laughs> that totally gives you the effect. It's how it's nighttime now. I turned off daylight mode. <laughs> All right. Uh, head check. One, two. Anyone else out there? You'll just hear from Doc's direction. Uh, I'm up. <laughs> we have to go back to sleep. All right. Didn't take uh, you hold on. Didn't take you a lot for the nocturnal type. She's more the type of give me an hour to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> well. Moon rise and shine. <laughs> Alright, so the group is awake at night. So what do you guys want to do? I'm going to light up my torch and start checking on everyone around here. Some people, uh, some of the Minutemen there are asleep. Others are... Oh, excuse me. On guard. All right, uh, what's it called? I'm going to wave my torch to them real quick Hang on. Let to me, let them know that I'm up. Let me grab the other Minutemen that were busy, you know, grabbing the um, stuff. Oh, there's Joey. I'm like, where's Joey? There he is. Scatter the Minutemen around here. Some are asleep, some are on guard. You know, I should probably do this. Hmm. Yeah, good icon. I don't think I have one. We do not have a sleeping icon, really. Weird. There we go. That'll be the sleep one, then. Alright, so, yes. So you guys wake up at, you know, at about 10pm, we'll round it up now. 
So it's 10 p.m. in the evening. You guys wake up. A couple of men are asleep. Some are, are, are on guard, etc. So you want to light your torch? Okay. Yeah, because we have the torch, right? <laughs> so give me the intel intelligent survival check to see if it lights. One sec. No, no, this thing is completely spent. There is a resounding slap as uh, Glenn unfortunately face palms. Yeah, so your only torch that you had is now spent. Broke. Like, well, that thing won't light no more. Ah, oh, great. Where the hell am I gonna find batteries out here? And uh, by and by torch, I meant yeah, it's like an actual flame torch, not like a flashlight. Oh, that sucks. And Glenn will just cast it aside. <laughs> As he does so, though, well, in the nearest receptacle, he wouldn't want to piss off their new friend. But as it goes, he's going to walk over to the uh, to the other Minutemen and hold his hands up in a surrendering position, announcing his... Gentlemen, gentlemen, friendly walking through. Friendly walking through. <laughs> well, you don't need to say anything. They know. They know who you are. It's like, oh, yeah, okay. Better to err on the side of caution. Still, how goes the night watch right now? Uh, everything's quiet so far. We managed to flush out whatever ghouls were left that we found. I mean, we found as many as we can, so... The fact that we can walk through this place pretty freely now, I think it means we, we flushed them all out. I don't know, could've, man. Could have done without your help, though, either. You have our thanks for that. Mm. Not to mention you also saved the mm. lives of many of our friends, too, so... Just doing my job for the most part, sirs. Well, we appreciate that. I think, jo I think Joey's outside with the rest of the men. We're getting, they're loading up supplies. We're probably gonna, at least the ones, the ones who can move or are going to move out, will be moving out in the morning. All right, no worries. Then uh, I'll go check in with them as well as Doc. Also, uh, poke my head to see if uh, Axel, Grease, and Bob are doing all right for that matter as well, because I gotta, I'm hoping to. What's it called? Chew the fat with them concerning a proposition I might have. <laughs> yeah, I heard I heard stuff coming from their from the gar from their garage. So they probably been working on something all night, oh, all day actually, and probably through probably through the rest of the night. Pretty sure Eddie's gonna be real happy the majority of you came back. Mm -hmm. all right, if you'll excuse me, he'll tip his hat, salute, and then be on his way. Ooh, I'm gonna go check down Doc. Well, I left her outside, but yeah, she should have been inside with you too. Uh, yeah, I didn't have any lights put in there because I forgot to put them in. So yeah, it's not dark, dark in there. Doc, oh. she's awake. I'm here. Ah, uh, there you are. All right, so Joey and his crew are all right. The uh, what's it called? Those who aren't helping around right now are packing up and they're playing a moseying this morning. Um, uh, you want to go check on the, on the terrific trio real quick? Okie dokie. <laughs> I got right. my toe bag and wrench. On yeah. to repair. Would you, would you happen to have a torch on you? Because mine's unfortunately gone belly up. One moment. You do have, you do have a torch on your head. If you remember correctly. True, I did have that, don't I? You did pick up a, you did pick up one of those mining helmets with a flashlight on it, and you know, um, yeah. He shuffles it over, and then you just hear click. Torch on. <laughs> I think I should. Is that turned it on? Right? Yeah, there you go. There's your light on. It's not a whole, whole, whole lot. Probably can make more, but... Uh, lighting, let's say... Let's 
There we go. We'll make it a little bigger. There you go. So you guys have you now have light emitting from your head. Oof. Great way to keep your hands free. <laughs> All right. So what do you guys want to do? You guys want to go check on the uh, trio, right? Yep. All right. We will. I will act. I will gather your group up. Bloop. Bloop. I'll just dump you off right at the beginning of the workshop. Or the garage. Ah. All right. Uh, let's see here. So Axel and Grease are spick and span, shot, look like, you know, well, not like they rolled off the factory line, but uh, as good as they could look after, you know, hanging out in the nuclear wasteland for like two, three hundred years or something like that, give or take, depending on how long it's been. Bob, you know, he's functional, he's working around again, he's not, you know, damn near falling apart like he was. But yeah, so, you know, Axel will greet you. It's like, ah, oh, good sir, you're back again. How are you faring? Much better than last time, that's for sure. Uh, yes, according to the old, according to my uh, Geiger counter, it seems your ticking has gone down quite a bit. Yeah, but not, not quite a lot. Had to give up a few things with the men out there, but it's pretty much well worth it in the end. More than likely, I'm going to have to finagle with a Brahmin to see if they can cough up more milk tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> They're fickle creatures they can be sometimes. Ow. Oh, how about you three? How are you faring? Oh, uh, Axel and my... Axel, uh, Grease and myself are doing quite well, actually. Bob is coming along together again. He'll be back to full... He'll be back to 100% in no time. Just... A few more repairs here and there, and a bit of spot welding there, and he'll be good as new. Well, almost new. You know that. Doc may be able to help with that. No, oh, oh, that'd be quite that'd be quite useful, actually. If you don't mind, I don't want to impose. No problem at all. Be them buck or human. Oh. I'm a doc. I fix you up. <laughs> well, that's. Quite appreciate it, actually. Let me double check this real fast. Now, while Doc's doing that, I have a proposition for you three. Alright, go on. Now, I know you three are not planning on leaving anytime soon. That's fine and dandy. Yes. Yeah, go on. But, um. I do know of a few good folk out there that could actually use your expertise. Uh, more customers? That's always... That would be uh, welcome. Fair. That would be very much welcome. We haven't had customers in ooh, over 200 years. Now, admittedly, one's way, way out there, but the other one's right nearby. Would you happen to know about the Starlight Rest Stop? North from here. Right, so um there's a lady over there by the name of Abby. We'll make note to uh to her about you three you three and the business you run over here and how Joey Park and his crew and Doc and I managed to help get rid of your little ghoul problem. With those bozos out of the way, you should be getting new business real soon. And not just them either. There's a town about maybe a day and a half traveled northeast of here by the name of Winchester. Oh, Winchester, you say? Are they, yeah. Are they polite people? Will they be customers as well? I would most definitely say so. They could need all the help they can get. 
we'll pass word along to them that you three are running a fine, you know, business on the up and up around here. And more than likely, they'll send a couple of people over in order to, uh, I don't know, trade, get some things fixed. They've got the cash, they've got the resources, and like I said, they need all the help they can get. Wow, well, that sounds like a brilliant idea. So, if you can give them a hand with whatever with whatever services you can provide for them, I'd appreciate it, because last, from what I remember, those Academy bastards are willing to start scrap with them, and... Yeah. Academy? Institute, you mean. Right? Referring to, uh, the idiots who sent those synths after us. Yeah, okay, the, the, uh, the Institute. The Institute, yeah, that's the one I was looking for. I'm like, Academy? I'm like... Okay, that's why I want to double check. Okay, yes, yes. Unless you were bringing something else up. I'm like, oh, what? That's... Okay, I'm gonna have to roll something new altogether. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, um, well, that would be all right. Um, we can't. Uh, we don't offer much, actually. I mean, we're just a trio of Mr. Uh, Mr. Handys. You know, our expertise primarily lie in restoring vehicles. Well. As much as we can nowadays, we spent the latter half of a good. We spent a good half of the uh, last couple of months restoring these vehicles right here. They're not well. They're not completely world road worthy yet, but if we had a few more materials or extra hands, more than we already have right now, uh, we probably could get some of these vehicles up and running. I mean, hmm, could be. Do you mind if I ask you, if I ask you, if I, well, not so much a favor, but while you're out and about in your travels in the wasteland, if you do come across a, uh, there was, there used to be a robotics facility not far northeast of here. If you were, if, if your travels take you in that direction, please do check it out and see if there's any more, if you can somehow get more support for us. If you can, if we can get a few more hands in here, well, this will become a very well establishment, and we can repair pretty much any vehicle out there. Absolutely, given, given you the let the, you given the, hang on. Given the time and resources, we can pretty much have any vehicle. Well, not up and running, but it'll be roadworthy as long as it's being pulled by some animal. Absolutely, my friend. We'll make we'll make damn sure to keep an eye out for that. Very good. And it, of course, I we're not, we're not, we are proper businessmen. We're not asking to do this for you for free. There would be a reward for you as well. Mm, let's see here. We do have these four vehicles here are some of our finest right now. Give us, give us with the proper time and resources. Well. You have most of the resources we need, but yes, if you get us the extra help we need, we will have one of these vehicles up and running for you for your cat for your Brahmin to pull. You know, free of charge. Consider the first one's on. Cons it. Consider it then done, boys. Shake on it. Uh, oh dear. Uh, hang on. He, yeah, he gets his little pincer hand. It's like there we are. <laughs> like, like, right, and Glenn. Yeah, because he had a saw blade up uh, first. Like, uh, I don't think you want to shake hands with that one. Hang on. There it is. That's the proper one. It is a gentleman's agreement, then. Again, no pressure. We would appreciate the, uh, the help. But <clears throat> we understand. Everyone's busy and usually doing their own things. Until then. Indeed, my friend. Until then. Glenn will grab the uh, the grabby claw and give a firm shake, <laughs> and the agreement will be settled then and there. Excellent. Meanwhile, uh, Doc was kind of fixing up uh, Bob. Uh, give me a you know intelligence repair roll. Okay. One roll coming up. Oh damn. Okay, so wow. Nothing, well, yeah, I know nothing outstanding. So you didn't repair any extra damage because yeah, you do have the materials and stuff around here. So let me just. Okay. I'll give you four more. Back. What the hell? This is being funny. There we go. Oh, 
farm is almost back to full uh, health. Back to full uh, ship shape. I say, you've done quite a marvelous job there with Bob. Just a few dings and dents here and there, but he is looking quite ship shape. Oh, that's like, thank you very kindly, Doc. All right, we appreciate this. Please, and no, we we don't we feel we we feel like we've taken up enough of your time. We'll take care of the rest from here. Safe travels. And the trio will bid you a goodbye unless you have any other business. I will let them know that we aren't planning on leaving anytime soon. We'll probably uh, ship out at, sa at the same time as the Minutemen in the morning. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys already took a rest right now, so. Not too long ago, so it's. I mean... Yeah, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not liking our chances out there with the way we are right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm. I'm basically. I'm basically gonna make it so it's like, yeah, you guys aren't gonna, you know, rest back to back to back. I'm not gonna let you chain rest. You guys gotta do some stuff. Like stuff. I do have an idea though. All right, what? All right, but I want to pass this to Ambrosia. Um, Ambrosia, would you mind accompanying with accompanying me to do a minor patrol around the premises to make sure we are okay and safe? No problem. Well, I did tell you earlier that the Minutemen said that yeah, uh, while you guys were asleep, they did man they did a patrol and they flushed out pretty much every ghoul that they found. You know, and that's why they they've they've gone uh, around this whole place. And haven't found or heard anything else, so it's safe. All right. Hmm. This place has been cleared right now. That's what I'm saying. Unless you have any other what? business, yeah, unless you have any other business, or you want to spend a couple hours, you know, scavenging for stuff around in the junkyard. I was just about to ask them that. Hmm. Uh, guys, real quick. Yeah, so something else I can help you with, then. Oh uh, 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 yeah, I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask your permission. Would you mind if Doc and I go scrounging around the junkyard to see if we can find anything worthwhile in there? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Not at all, actually. I mean, it is, this is a junkyard, and you've helped us more. You've given us more than enough help and support. It only seems like a good idea. If you find anything out there that might be of use, go ahead. I mean, like, I Appreciate said, that. like we said, you helped clear out those ruffians. It's only fair that you get your, you know, you get to... You're one of the first customers we've had in a long time, so call this a gift. In the future, though, yes, there will be a minor fee. Seems only fair. Right? Is that right? Right. right Thank you. It's like, uh, am, I, am I alone in this one, lads? No, not at all. Yes, yes, sure. No, go ahead, go ahead. So the trio agrees that yes, yes, go ahead. You are, You are more than free to scrounge around. You 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 know the old saying: one man's garbage, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Who knows what treasures lurk out in there? Especially, well, appreciate, especially appreciate when it. time has passed. Right then, come on, Doc. A scrounging we will go. Yeah. You will just see this little gremlin-like smile. Yee! <laughs> what happens when she well has a good night's sleep? <laughs> Alright, let me see here. Scavenging. Scavenging. I haven't done that yet. And I know there's a thing for it, too. I have a... I more or less have the thing ready for it. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, where is the table? No, that's not it. Oh, crap. I put it down there. Is that it? No, wait. That's the encounter table. Oh, well. That's, that one's going to get used soon-ish. Ah, here's the scavenge table. Okay. And I need to declare how long scavenging goes. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm going to say it's two hours per, per uh, size. And... There are four sizes. So there's tiny, small, 
average and large places. I'm going to say that this is a this is an average size or a large size junkyard. Hmm. I'm gonna declare this a. I'm gonna say this is a large junkyard. Yeah. I'm gonna say this is a large junkyard. Mainly untouched because you know with all the ghouls and stuff roaming about, not a lot of people have been here to scavenge through it. And let me see here, this would be industrial. Let me see here. This is definitely not residential. Commercial, probably. Industrial, more likely than not. Not medical. Not military. Police. Not a hideout. Not mutant. Definitely not a vault, and not well, maybe public. Hmm. What are the which one of those sounds more accurate for a junkyard? Um, a commercial is not probably not probably not a commercial. Either industrial or public. Probably industrial. I'd say industrial. Yeah. I honestly want to say yeah. It it falls squarely in the middle between those two, but it leans more toward industrial. Okay. Because that's just Getting basically raw materials right for the picking. True. 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 Okay, so let me double check how scavenging works again. I definitely need to scavenging. Okay, scavenging site. Oh, wow, okay, large areas actually are not that, uh, well, uh, standardly, large areas aren't that big. It doesn't take that long to search, but, yeah, tiny makes sense, so, hmm, hang on. Let me change my, uh, my original, uh, timetable I gave you guys, like, yeah, two hours per, I'm like, nah, it's actually, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot different from that. So, tiny areas usually take about a minute, ten minutes for a small Average take about a half hour. Large areas take about two hours. So, let's see here. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So it's gonna take. So it's gonna eat you about two hours for you to scavenge around. Okay, let's see here. Scavenging. Okay, so whoever has the best perception and survival check is going to be the lead, and and whoever else is whoever is lower is going to be assisting in the scavenge test. So who's got who's got the higher perception uh, combo, survival combo? Let's see. You have a dog has a perception of seven, and kneecaps has a perception of. Or you have a, yeah, you have a six to a seven. Although survival is okay. So doc. It would be assisting kneecaps. So kneecaps, my dude, you are going to be the one who's doing the primary role for the scavenge, and um, Doc will be assisting. Now, hang on, you can buy into more. Let me double check here, because the wording on this is a little bit odd. So let me see what it says here in the rule book. Uh, Okay, so the way it works is, um, because this is an un yeah, this is a unsearched area. It's it's gonna be like no difficulty at all, and. Let's see here. So, here's how it works. When you buy, when you spend AP to buy into searching, before you start searching, you need to tell me what your, uh... hang on, yeah, the thoughts. Okay, so the way it works is, before you guys do the rolls, you need to decide, is there anything you're looking for in particular? If you are, and you choose to spend AP, you will get 
you will be guaranteeing something of that category. The categories are ammunition, armor, clothing, food, beverages, um, chems, melee weapons, ranged weapons, throwing, exp slash explosives, oddities and valuables, and junk. Now, there is a minimum guaranteed based on the area that you're searching because you're in a junkyard, and oddly enough, because it's an industrial spot, there's going to be a lot of junk you're going to find. You're more or less probably going to find a few other things, but you need to tell me if there's something you're looking for. Like, I want to try and find, you know, uh, I want to try and find armor. Okay, spend AP for that. To a to a maximum, because once you when when I make the roll, that's what's gonna that's what you guys are gonna find. And it's gonna be set that way. Um, but if you want to try and guarantee something, then spend your AP up now. So, uh, kneecaps, you're the you're the lead on that. Is there anything you're looking for in sp in particular? In particularly case? particularly armor. And uh, the only other one I can think of would be chems, but I sincerely doubt there's any in here. You never know. So did you want to spend any yeah. AP to increase those chances, or increase the yield? It's one per. So if you want to... Yeah, I would... Like, I would... Go ahead. I would like to spend one. One AP into what? What category? Into chems. Chems? Okay. Uh, so that's one out of your five. Uh, Ambrosia, did you want to find anything specifically? Mm, not really. I'm mostly just going to be looking to see if there's anything generally useful for putting things together or well, that's stuff kinda, I can put yeah. in when patching shit. That's kind of what this is for. So uh, is, you did you want to find you know chems then too for healing or maybe you want to find some oddities or valuables like a medic kit. Med uh, medic kits, repair kits, that would fall under the odd oddities and valuable section. So, if you want to increase your chance on that one. Might end up wanting to do a repair kit so I can better patch non-humans up. Okay. So, well, then that would that, just be general bits and pieces that I can maybe use to modify weapons. Okay, then, hmm. That would probably be under, well, probably oddities and valuables. I think here, let me double check. Yeah, you might find some stuff. You also might find some other gear, like miscellaneous gear, like uh, like a backpack to help you carry more stuff, or one of those toolkits that helps that helps you uh, make checks easier. Or maybe you find a better medic kit, because there are some other kits out there that are better than the one you have. I should, I should probably put a limit on that, but either way. But yeah, did you want to look for oddies and valuables or anything else? Now, mind you, once, well, like I said, when we make the check, you're going to find more than what you guys were putting your points into. This spending of AP is just to increase the yield. There are some categories that are guaranteed yields based on the lo size, location, and um, you know amount of scavenged that it is. Because again, this is untouched, and this is a large area, industrial. You're gonna get, get you guys are gonna end up with a, quite a bit of loot right now. But so yeah, how often are you guys are you guys gonna find a completely untouched, unscavenged area that needs to be seen? That remains to be seen. But just telling you, this might be a good opportunity for you to find some good loot up front. So there's only one way to find out. All right. So. Uh, again, my dude, uh, yeah, Ambrosia, did you want to spend any points? Uh, spend one. Into which category again? Uh, the oddities and valuables? Uh, yeah, given that I'm generally looking for, like, repair kits and shit like that. Okay. So you guys have spent two out of your five AP. Did you want to spend any more? Remember, mm. AP kind of, AP kind of comes and goes quite easily from time to time. I don't think so. Okay, I defer to you. On my end. Okay, so she's good. I defer to you one more time, my dude. You've you've spent one AP in chems. 
Did you want to spend any more? You have three more points to play with. If you not that I think, not that I can uh, think of. If you want to blow the whole wad right now, you can totally do it. Not, not at the moment. All right, you guys are being extra cautious. All right. Okay, roll your ch uh, action hand. Yeah, let me slow turn that one off and turn that off too. So you guys are scavenging, not foraging. All right. So, my dude, make your intelligence survival check, I believe it was, right? Uh, do, 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 do. No, perception survival, my bad. Make your perception survival check. God damn it. Okay, hang on. Ambrosia, click on the roll assist. That's at the bottom of his uh, check. To add to you it because you are assisting him. Oh, oh click second. on your character. Sorry. Yeah, click on your token and then click the button. I forgot that Mead does that sometimes. I'm like, oh, right, right, right. Uh, perception submit. Hey! Congratulations. You guys passed your check. So, let's see what you guys managed to find. Alright, so out of the potential ammunition, you guys found none. No armor. You did manage to find a set of clothing. You found some engineer's armor. Uh, while scavenging around... Over, throughout the junkyard, you managed to find some soft shell Meyer alert meat somehow. Uh, you found two drinks. You found a bottle of cider and a blood and a blood pack. <laughs> oh, damn it. So kneecaps, my friend, you found some chems. But not the ones I was hoping for. No, you found some Ultra Jet. Let's see here. You managed to also find a few melee weapons. You found a machete, a big ass 2x4, which can be used as a decent uh, club, and another baseball bat. Right. Whoa. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fascinating. <laughs> What? what else? Well, hang on. You also found three cryogenic grenades. Three cryo grenades. Excuse me? Three freeze boom, grenades. Boom. Huh? Boom, boom. Is that something that makes something uh, stop dead cold, pun intended? No, not dead, dead cold, but it does cause, you know, well, it does slow them down and, you know, freeze them up. And let's see, in terms of uh, oddities and valuables, you found... Let's see, you found two loose cigarettes, unsmoked. Um, you found pieces of a board game, which are potentially valuable, and uh, a buff item of sorts if you're playing them in the uh, camp. And, huh, neat. You found a walkie-talkie. Of course, you only found one right now, so... If you want to Damn! So no sign, no sign of the, no sign of its uh sibling. No, no, just one. But again, it's you know, you can go into different frequencies and con and contact different things. So, well, you've got one walkie-talkie. If you find another one down the road, well, you have a pair. You can communicate with each other from long distance or longer distances. And you also managed to scavenge up six pieces of junk, which can be broken down into actual useful material. So, let's see here. Let's start divvying up the loot. Who wants the engineer's armor? Which, what does that do anyway? Where the hell is my damn thing again? Oh, that ain't it. Oh, that ain't it. Where is this master list? Over here. There it is. So, I think that's just clothing, actually. Engineer's armor. Okay, engineer's armor. Yeah, it's just clothing. Uh, one energy, one physical resistance. And yeah, so uh, it's basically all this. It it's not that ooh ah has no special bonus to it. Yeah, so who wants to carry what? 
first off, who wants to carry the armor? Or clothing, actually, the outfit, the engineer armor. Let me double check my character. I think I can afford to carry uh, carry uh, that armor unless Doc wants to equip it right now. Well, her armor's better. Okay, then yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll carry it for the time being. Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on. Actually, is that what she's wearing right now? Let me double check. Uh, this is Doc. Yeah, I think hers is better. What is she wearing right now? Oh yeah, she's using Scribe's armor. Okay, that's funny. So, Engineer's armor. Worn by Brotherhood Engineers and those who style themselves as similar. This outfit consists of protective jacket, heavy canvas or leather gauntlets, and a vest tool belt covered in pouches. It provides protection against the hazards using the power of tools in the workshop, but isn't really fit for the battlefield. So yeah, it's just, you know. Yeah, it's for good, it's good for, you know, Working in a workshop for the most part, but yeah, your your scribe's armor is actually armor armor. Well, at least better than nothing. So yeah, so yeah, Ambrosia will, uh, Doc will carry the engineer's armor. Uh, let me put that in there then. So that one's a, a regular uh, one I can put in. Let's see what was next on the list. You found some soft shell Mirelurk meat. Who wants to carry the meat? Hmm. Doc, do you wonder? Doc? Uh -oh. Me. Did you want to carry the meat that he that you guys found, or did you want him to carry it? Yeah, I could carry it. I'm pretty much becoming the camp cook anyways. Okay, so you get the meat. All right, let's see what's next. Uh, cider and a blood pack. Cider is something I have to add myself because that was custom. And that's you know, kind of, it's food and drink, so we'll give that to you then too. Away. Let's see, cider. I'll actually want this one. I'll have to look that one up later. Blood pack also. Yeah, you found a blood pack. Goody. All right, who wants to carry the Ultra Jet? What ex what exactly is the Ultra Jet? Ultra Jet is a chem. It's one. It's a drug. Uh, let's see here. Ultra Jet. You gain six AP immediately. Lost if not spent. Uh, extra actions cost one AP less. And it'll last for a few turns. Uh, it, it is highly addictive. There's the downside. Of course, yeah. It is highly addictive and it's quite rare. It's worth a decent amount of cash, too, if you were to sell it to someone. I mean, you can leave it behind if you want, but I mean. I mean, if it's worth a lot of dosh, I'm willing to actually uh, it's got a take... It's got a value of uh, 67 caps. If it's worth something, then it will probably be worth something to someone else. We could always trade it off for more caps and thus more supplies. Yeah, if you're okay, if you're okay, if, if you're okay you know, tra buying and trading with drugs, that's fine. <laughs> it's a wasteland, man. There's bound to be somebody who wants it. True, but I was going to say, didn't your guy have, doesn't your guy have a, uh, doesn't your character have a... You know, a thing about drugs. That's true. That's why I'm saying. Doc. 
Your character, on the other hand, I'm like, your character's a little bit more... Mm -mm. Doc's character, maybe, I don't know. Doc? She's not really big on it unless she absolutely has to. Like, we will literally starve, die if we don't get this kind of money. But typically, she's like, I don't like trading in dirty shit. So you guys, you guys can leave it behind, or you guys can pick it up. It's up to you. Yeah, if we if we don't throw this over in garbage bin, I'm liable to empty a few clips okay. into it. <laughs> so you're just gonna leave it behind? Yep. All right. One last thing for me to add in. Let's see here. A machete. Who wants the machete? I already got the spare bat. You want to take the machete, Doc? Tapping your chin, she's like, mm, why not? A bigger combat knife, basically. <laughs> yeah, she's like, eh, why right, not? So Doc gets a machete. Uh, who's the other weapons? A board. Who wants the uh, two by four, basically? The club. Ho! All right. Uh, what's it called? I'm I'm already taking the spare bat. Um. Oh, you want the other base? You want the other baseball bat? Okay. Yeah. What's better than one bat? Two bats. Except your bat is better than the this one. All right. I know. It's just something to fall back on. as a just in case measure. Oh, you don't you feel like you don't feel like beating people with a pipe? I see how it is. <laughs> Actually, it's a wrench. You you don't you don't want to go full plumber on someone's ass. I'm sorry, but I'm not I'm not the sort of person to wield a plumber's helper quite yet. Or actually, well, if you're using a wrench, then at that point you're um you don't want to go full Bioshock on somebody, right? <laughs> Dude, that weapon was freaking dirty when you got if you got the right uh, perks. I remember I was like I was like beating the crap out of big daddies with a freaking wrench. At one point, but anyways, tangent aside. So, who wants to carry the board? Uh, the well, the club, two by four, whatever you want to call it. It's a big piece of wood that's usable as a weapon. Somebody should carry something. That way, you guys can, you know, trade it later on if you want to sell. If you ever if you ever played a Fallout game like me, then uh, yeah, you you kind of do the same thing I would do is hoard everything you can because it's all worth money down the road. Even if it's only worth like five caps, hey, that's five caps you didn't have. Indeed. So who wants to carry the board? I think I probably will then. All right, you got a board. All right, all right. Three cryo grenades. Let me. Those are custom, so let me tell you what they are about. That would be under explosives. Cryogenic grenades. Uh, they deal five. Com there are five combat damage. They stun, and they have the stun and spread keyword, meaning they go further out than normal. Uh, let's see here. It's energy damage. Uh, it's got a throwing, it's a throwing weapon, of course, and it's got a, it's got the, uh, debilitating special perk to it as well, which does, what again, hang on. That is a special effect. Ah, the difficulty of treat, debilitating, the difficulty of treating any injuries inflicted by this weapon is increased by one. So if you hurt something with this, it's harder for them to heal themselves or get medical treatment. Oh crap. This sucks. This per, let's see, per effect attack inflicts one extra hit on a target. Oh yeah, and it has the spread keyword also, damage effect, which also makes it more likely to hit more, the target more times. It's like, oof. So who wants to carry these cryogenic grenades? I would say you carry those, Doc. Yep. 
All right, so she gets the snow globes. <laughs> <laughs> the one person who can probably end up treating you when you get frostbite will also give it to you. <laughs> exactly, right? So the doc is carrying the uh, the frosty stick bombs. <laughs> right? <laughs> frosty stick bombs. Frosty the stick bomb. Oh, that does sound like a friggin' orky chant, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, we'll add a cat and a chipmunk. And there we go. All right, let me add this in real fast then before we head out. Present grenade, we got three of them. Uh, let's see, their weight is plus one for each. They cost 40 a pop. The rarity is. Where is my rarity? Oh, their rarity is four. So that's in your inventory. And was that the last item? No, I think there's one more to dish out. Oh yeah, three more items to dish out. Who wants to carry the two cigarettes? Cigarettes are also a quite common um, commodity, uh, you know, valuable item in the re in the wasteland. Do you want to carry those, Doc? I'll carry all the medical problematicals. <laughs> oh shit, that's a custom item. I thought that was cigarettes or normal. Alright, whatever. Make that make. Hmm. Got that damn song in my head. I'll play the song when we're just about wrapped up. Well, after we wrap up, real fast. It's like a two minute song. It's freaking hilarious. Uh, let's see. Clear that. Three grenades. We got two of them. Okay, I'll finish that quantity in later. All right. Uh, incomplete board game. I'll be carrying that. Oh, okay. And what kind of board game is it? Just for flavor. <laughs> oh, just for the irony of it. The game of life. So, incomplete board game. One. <laughs> okay, game of life then it is. And the walkie-talkie. There's only one right now, so who wants to carry that? I'll carry that. All right. Walkie-walkie. There we go. Walkie-talkie. We got one of those. No, oh, damn it. <laughs> Put that in the wrong spot. There we go. One walkie-talkie. All right. Cool. So that takes care of all the loot from you guys. And that killed about two hours. and So it is now midnight for you guys. Oh, wait. There, and there's six units of junk. That was the last bit of loot. Doc, since you're a resident techie, I'd suggest you carry those. Good. You'll, you'll probably get more use out of them than I would. Well, yeah, in fact, 
uh, I was gonna say, if you want to spend a couple more, uh, spend time, start breaking down the junk to see if it's any worth anything. Sure. Why no? Yeah, because right not? now you guys are trying to burn time, so you guys can, you know, either take another rest or set out during the daytime <laughs> in the morning. Okay. What do I have to do? Uh, let me double check it here real fast. Because it's been a while since we've done that too. <laughs> ah, here we go. Junk. Okay, so it takes about 10 minutes uh, to, you know, break down and see if it's worth anything per item. So you have six items right now? Yeah, you have six units of junk, so it's gonna, that'll burn another hour for you to, you know, extract okay. useful materials out of them. And it is a, let's see here, it is an intelligence plus repair test. Okay. And be nice to me, Dicey. Okay, you succeeded, and you will bank an AP for that because, yeah. So let's see. Oh, you guys spent two AP, but now you guys spent. Uh, let's see, you were down to what three? Now you're up to four AP. Okay. So I need you to roll me six, uh, six of those little uh, dice on your character sheet. You know where they are, the little the face dice at the top left, right next to the D the D twenty. Mm. You roll six of those, and for every effect you roll, you gain material. I think I did that right. Yes, you did actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. <laughs> so you rolled two dice. So you got two effects. So you found some material. Let's see what you find exactly. Roll one die for each junk item you traveled. You receive common material equal to the total rolled. Oh, okay. Actually, it's not per effect. It's per, yeah, I know. Do you have that perk? Let me double check here. Yeah, we're doing a lot of bookkeeping tonight, which is actually kind of good. It gives me more time to get stuff ahead of the, uh, down the road. You do have the scrapper perk, actually. Let's see here. When you scrap an item, you can salvage uncommon component as well as common materials. So how does that happen? Let's see here. If you have the scrapper perk, you also receive one common uncommon material for each effect you rolled. Ah! Ah, there we go. Okay, so because you have the scrapper perk, you found, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. You found six uncommon materials from all your scavenging. So let me go ahead and do that in your uh, list of materials. You found, oh, actually, that's six mm -hmm. common materials, right? Yeah. So common materials, you found that six more. So you're up to 19 uh, common materials. And those two effects you rolled gave you two uncommon materials. So now you're up to 10 uncommon mats. So that was another good hour spent. So it is now 1 a.m. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the Minutemen are probably going to head out in about six more hours. So you've got six hours to kill before the Minutemen head out. If you wanted to uh, you know, ride with them, or go alongside them, or just part ways, either way. Not sure what you were exactly getting at. 
true. Basically, I wanted to make I wanted to make sure that everything was you know well and accounted for before we decide to hit the sack. And if this is the last time we will see the Minutemen. We'll just say our goodbyes for the most part, mm-hmm. and then uh, make our way back over toward the, uh, the 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 rest stop in the morning. All right. Or did you want to head out now? Because technically it is morning. It's one a.m., but technically still morning. <laughs> No, with our current sit, I'd rather have daylight, especially with me in my current situation. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to risk a random encounter yet? <laughs> Not yet. Doc, how about you? Yeah, no. Don't want to risk it. All right. Now, did you? when you say rest, did you meant rest in game, or are you talking about rest for the evening here in real life? Rest for the evening, man. I'm running on fumes right now. Okay, that's now. fine. We did a lot of bookkeeping, which is kind of cool, and it's like, oh, good. It gives me a chance to flush some of this crap out. All right. Because yeah, um, I'm starting to feel it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. All right, so before we conclude for the evening, is there anything else you guys want to add before we, uh, or any notes or any of the other comments? Uh, the Wars Man. Not at the moment. And Ambrosia. I don't think so. Okay. We will put a pin in this right now. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who's joined us tonight. Uh, Benda, my good sir, thank you for that little lurk there. I appreciate that. Um, everyone else who's watching right now, thank you so much for t- tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, a bit, bit of a dry night, a little bit of humor, lots of uh, <laughs> sort of dialogue going on, getting the gears turning for future stuff down the road. Again, I've been kind of behind on my prepping ahead of the curve with a lot of stuff going on and holidays that were, you know, like, goddamn, we can't believe we're in freaking March already. Goddamn. Where's the damn time gone? Next thing you know, it's going to be freaking December again. <laughs> you want to Christmas music in the background? <laughs> sure, why not? Well, uh, if, if you listen to if Ambrosia is you're just hanging out long enough, you'll hear it. Hang out with Ambrosia long enough and, you know, uh, Christmas music will just start playing out of her mouth. Just kind of her, her go-to, <laughs> which I find so adorable. Anyways, um, that aside, again, this is a semi week to week thing maybe sometimes we'll play two weeks in a row sometimes we might we may not again real life is a thing this is just a hobby we're doing for fun and that's the main thing is uh you know have a good time with it um so if you are able to tune in on a friday to friday basis you know i usually just go live and we'll start up and start rolling if you did not able to, if you're not able to catch this live and you're watching us a rebroadcast, because I'll post this to YouTube uh, sometime later on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you are able to come by and check us out live, come up, hang out, say hey, and you know maybe maybe pitch an idea to the group or pitch an idea to me. You know, I will. I am very open. We're playing this very loosey goosey. And again, our main goal is to have fun. I'm starting to ramble. Anyways, again, thank starting. You so- you've been rambling for a while. <laughs> really? How long? For like what two hours <laughs> that's about how long we've been playing for tonight anyways um thank you again ambrosia thank you again so warsman for joining us tonight hope you guys had fun until next time i've been saint uther and we'll see you all next time take care out there in the wasteland my friends stay safe later grots ciao